Hi, in this video, we will bring up a new Cisco ISR router running iOS XE ST WAN image. Most of the time, you will use the zero touch provisioning to bring up a device. However, in this video, we will connect to the device and add a few configurations manually so that it joins the ST WAN fabric. I already have three WAN edges in my ST WAN fabric and we will add a fourth one. I have a predefined template named CH4. Let's look at the template. So here we have two transport interfaces defined. We also have a management interface defined and we also have a service VPN defined. Now this template is not yet associated to anything. So let's go and associate it. Here I'll choose the serial number of the device. This is the device which will bring up which will bring up. Let's update the values within the template. Let's add the service VPN IP address. The address of the next hop. So we have two transports. So we'll add the next hop for both the transports. We'll add the IP addresses of the interfaces of this manage. Let's add a host name, the system IP, and the site ID. Let's update. Let's click next. Let's view the configurations. So this is the configuration that will get pushed to the device from the template. Now since the device is not yet online, the association of the template will be scheduled. Let me go back to the dashboard. Now let me connect to the router console. This router is booted with iOS X ST WAN image. So let's look at the configurations first. And as you can see, there's no ST WAN related configurations present on this device. So let's do some basic configurations. Go to system. Let's add a system IP. Let's add a site ID as well. Let's add an organization name. Let's add a VBond IP. Let's configure our interface. So here I'm going to just configure one interface. Uh, the second interface configuration will come through the template. Let's add a default route out of this interface. Now let's add a tunnel interface and associate the above gigabit interface to this. Let's change the tunnel mode to ST WAN. Now 
let's do some basic SD-WAN tunnel configurations. So let's go to the interface. Let's configure it as a tunnel interface. Let's configure an encapsulation of IPsec, a color of MPLS, and max control connections one. Let's go and commit configurations. Now we have done some basic configurations. The router will try to reach out to the controllers. So let's take a look at the dashboard. And in a few minutes, you'll find that it identifies that the, there is a new VH that is coming up in the network. So that's a new edge that's that's able to connect to the controllers now once the vh contacts the controllers uh, there will be the template that will get pushed across to the device so now the template is getting pushed So the tunnel three configurations have been pushed through the template. And it has a successful connection connection to the VSmarts. And all the now four VHS are shown as up within the dashboard. And now you can see that the host name has changed. We didn't configure the host name when we do the, did the configuration through the CLI. The host name has been pushed through the templates. So let's quickly check our running configuration. There you can see all the system parameters, the VRF definitions. Now there's presence of two default routes towards both the transports. There was the Gigabit 2 configuration, Gigabit 3 configuration, and a service VPN configuration on VRF 11. And then we have the tunnel 3 configurations, and then there's demand related configurations. Let's take a look at the templates. and the template is successfully attached to the device. Let's go to the device, that is CH4. Let's go to real time and check our PFT sessions as well. And you can see that it has successful PFT and IP sessions with all the other devices within the fabric. Thus, with a few simple configuration steps, you can bring up the device into the Cisco SD-WAN fabric. That's it for this demo, and thanks for watching.